to the channel. It is Saturday and I'm getting ready to head to the shop. Not really sure what all I'm going to be able to get done today. Just going to kind of go with the flow. One thing I definitely want to get started on is mocking up that GT style panel that's going to be connected to the dash for all my switches and my special piece of technology that I'm installing that I will tell you guys very, very soon. I know I keep saying that. I just ordered like this huge bookshelf thing. So, I have a big piece of cardboard to mock up that panel that I'm talking about. And I just wanna really just get that done and have an idea of how it's gonna come together. And then from there, make a plan for how I'm going to make that. So I know for sure I will be doing that. And then I'm gonna hopefully also get to like installing the seat and putting the foot pedals back in. I actually have Steve, who's a good friend of everybody at Garage Life, who is coming over and taking my measurements for my custom foot pedal spacers. When I drove the FC at Seven Stock and MozFest, when I drove DK's FC there, I had trouble reaching the pedals. We can't adjust the stock ones forward. And in order for me to like even kind of reach them, I have to be like way up on the wheel, which is not good. Story of my entire racing career. It's always been difficult to fit me in any vehicle. So Steve is coming over and he's making me custom spacers for the pedals. Like I've never had these and I've needed these my entire racing career. Getting really, really close to starting everything up and we'll see how far I can get today. <laughs> LA traffic is killing me right now. Isn't everybody supposed to be going into the city for the weekend? Not leaving LA? Ugh. Still not really used to LA traffic because usually on my drive to Garage Life, I always leave in the morning and everyone is coming into the city. So I usually never get caught up in traffic. <sighs> I forgot the cardboard that I literally just showed you guys before I left the house. What in the world is happening today? I forgot my giant piece of cardboard that I was really excited that I had. So I'm running to Walmart really fast. I'm just gonna pick up some thicker poster board and then head to the shop. I'll pick this back up. We got it, we got it today. <laughs> here is actually your one hint to the secret technology that I'll be installing in the car. If you recognize this packaging at all, then you may know what I'm installing here. But that is your hint for now. I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I know it's a little like ratchet looking right now, but I'm gonna actually have this machined and 
Steve, who's making my pedal spacers, is gonna be doing this as well. And we decided that it's gonna be best if we just use all aluminum for everything. That's gonna be way easier to cut out here. This is actually, see it goes down. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's about a little over a quarter inch that we're gonna have to make like a socket for that technology I'm putting in here. So we're gonna use aluminum for this whole piece here, aluminum for the top, aluminum for the side and then just connect most of it with L brackets and connect it down here as well. So yes, I'm really happy with this. I'm just gonna make sure that these switches actually fit and mark where they would go so that we have a guide for cutting it out. All right, check it out with the switches. It was a perfect fit. Oh my god, look at this, guys. Oh, I need to see this right now. So good. All right, I am stepping out really quick because DJ DK is in the house, as you can probably hear. <laughs> And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Done, I'm completely done mocking up my switch dash panel. It looks so freaking good. I just, I know you probably didn't see me using any ruler and stuff and being exact, I was more just like free handing it, but it turned out really awesome. And Steve is here now and he's the one that's gonna be helping make my custom pedal spacers. And he said he can make my dash panel that I just mocked up. So we talked about it and he said he's gonna use all aluminum for everything. And we're just gonna make a little socket for where the secret technology is gonna be going. And yeah, so we got a game plan. I got Steve who's gonna actually make this and he's gonna mock it up in CAD first and then actually bring it to life. That might take one or two weeks. He's gonna start mocking it up here so I can just see kind of how he does it. And then, yeah, it should be made really, really soon. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you already got all that mocked up. They figure out the holes on there, so the little for the switches, yeah, switches. On there. Okay. That is so awesome. I can't believe you mocked that up in like 15 minutes. So, right here, that's where you'd have the tab, right, to pull out, and then yeah, the electronic, the yeah. And that's the USB in the charger? Yeah. Just extended? Cool. Now we're gonna take measurements for the pedal spacer. So I need to get the seat in there, get the rack installed, and put the pedals in. So I'm gonna do that now. Somebody's sequential. Ha, ha, ha. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna deal with the rest of these bolts later and say I am done.
Oh, there you are. There he is. <laughs> I'm back at my place. We got so much done today, you guys. On Monday, I'm gonna be cranking this car over. I'm gonna start the car on Monday. Like, what? That is blowing my mind right now. The fact that I'm gonna be starting this car on Monday, I'm freaking out inside. I'm like, Obviously, I'm ridiculously excited, but I'm also nervous. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm nervous. Probably just I just haven't started that car in so long. And, oh, I cannot believe I'm starting this car. Today went awesome. I got my GT style dash panel all mocked up. And then Steve comes over and takes my mock up. And within like 15 minutes, engineered it in a CAD program and now it is already set up in there, ready to be made. What? Steve was coming over originally just to get my pedal measurements and I started talking to him about like how I could make this dash panel and what would be the best way to go, what different metal options we had, and then he just like took my mock-up I made, and like 15 minutes later, had it brought up in CAD. Shout out and huge, huge thank you to Steve, not only hooking it up with the pedal spacers, because hashtag short person life, but also for helping me with my dream GT style dash panel. While I was mocking up the dash panel, DK and Gilbert were finishing off the last couple connections that we needed to do. Today we got the starter solenoid wired up, we got the alternator wired up, the coils wired up, ECU wired up, and fuel pump and tail lights. So we just had to finish like the endpoint connections for those um, after making the body harness yesterday. So the car is going to start on Monday. Like this is so crazy. Everything's ready. I got the seat installed in the car. I threw in the pedals. We got the steering rack set, steering wheel on. It is ready to go. I did realize that with my dash and where the steering rack has to sit, I'm going to have to cut my dash. <gasps> Didn't have to cut it a little bit. It's okay. I'll make it work and it'll still look really awesome when it's on But that was a little annoying to run into that, but What can you do? <sighs> you guys cannot wait till Monday to start the car. Thank you guys for tuning in if you haven't already hit that subscribe button do it now because this car is about to get started and we're gonna be filming some awesome awesome stuff because now the fun part happens I get to drive that's all I want to do I've just been thinking of shredding tires through all the blood sweat and tears that has been building this car I put in so much work into this and I just can't wait to get on the track. So if you haven't already subscribed, do it now. There's going to be a lot of awesome stuff coming up and you don't want to miss it. Baby,